So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, welcome back to Come Again. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Funko Pop Pop Heroes number 127 from DC Comics Superheroes, the Harley Quinn Impopster. For those of you who don't know what the Impopsters are, it is mainly members of Batman's Rogues Gallery who did their own take on his classic costume. As you can see with Harley Quinn, hers is the red and black. And because of the black on part of her costume, she does have the white eyes. Now let's take a look around. This does look more like uh, the Batgirl costume rather than the Batman costume because of the nose cutout. Batgirl classically has that nose cutout on hers. Um... As you can see here, this one looks more like the Batman Impopster. Whereas, like I said before, this is more like the Batgirl Impopster. And here's a few of the uh, collectibles in the wave. We got the Penguin Impopster, number 122. Two-Face Impopster, number 123. Harley Quinn Batman Impopster, number 124. Scarecrow and Popster number 125, Riddler and Popster number 126, Harley Quinn Batgirl and Popster number 127, and Poison Ivy Batgirl and Popster number 128. So let's go ahead and take her out of the box and take a look. First things first, as usual with all Funko Pop characters, it does come with a little mini catalog. Uh, join today at legionofcollectors.com. Every box, 100% exclusive item. Uh, the debut box featured items from Batman vs. Superman. You got a Batman Funko Pop, a little Superman and Aquaman. Uh, I call them chibis because that's what they look like. Uh, Batman vs. Superman shirt. Then we've got the postcard. Legion of Collectors. For only $25, you'll receive 100% exclusive DC Comics collectibles created by Funko. Each box contains exclusive pop vinyl guaranteed. Box ships every other month. Six boxes per year. No fluff. Every box features at least $50 of value. Join a community of fans and get news direct from DC Comics. Join today at legionofcollectors.com. Let's go ahead and put that over to the side. We'll go ahead and take Batgirl Harley Quinn out of the package. Now, first things first, let me adjust this real quick. All right. She does appear to be a little bit top heavy, or back heavy, I should say, because of her hair on the back. Uh, this did not come with a stand for her, so you may have to slightly bend it a little bit to get her to stand. There we go. Alright, as you can see, her right half is red. Her black half of the cow is black. No mouth on this Funko Pop vinyl. You have her hair flowing out the back, which this is the red hair. So more than likely, they just took the Batgirl uh, Funko Pop and repainted her. Uh, they should have probably added Harley Quinn's special uh, multicolored hair. 
Um, but, you know, or at least painted it blonde to signify that it was Harley Quinn under there. Then you've got the cape, which matches the cowl. And then opposite of that, her shirt, which is black on the right side, red on the left side with black diamonds and red diamonds. Red glove, black glove. And her pants, which once again match up with her cowl with the black diamonds and red diamonds. And then her boots, red and black. Now, like with all Funko Pops, her head does turn side to side. However, it you will have a hard time getting her to turn all the way around because of her hair being in the way. Uh, the cape is non-removable. And it looks like she's only got eyelashes on one side because uh, the black on the other side. They could have probably did red eyelashes on this side. Um, she's got the white utility belt. And then on the inside of her cape, it looks to be a little bit gray, almost like they couldn't paint that part. Um, so I'm not sure why they wouldn't just sculpt them, sculpt them separately and paint them separately and then attach them. But you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. Let's see if the arms on this one move. Nope, the arms do not move. But it does look like they do. It does look like there's a joint, but they are glued on there. Let's see if I can get her to stand back up, right? So there you have it, guys. Funko Pop Harley Quinn Batgirl Impopster. Number 127 from Pop Heroes, DC Comics Superheroes Collection. Uh, my, I believe my brother found this one out at Walmart in Springfield. So, head on out, find yourself a Harley Quinn Batgirl and Popster, and add her to your collection. Take care, guys. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.